Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial or Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller and getting along with this I'm going to start naming some of the items here like this back piece. We'll just uh, call this back and I'm going to come over here to edge mode. Notice here got a little pinching so probably have the same thing going on here and we do so I'm just going to select both of those, hit my R key and we will scale those in just a little bit and that should remove the kinking there yep that problem is solved okay good I'm going to come to a new mesh item I'll go ahead and name this pillow and let's spin around to the front here and I'll create a cube Actually, I won't create a cube, at least not at first. Create a plane. And that's a little bit thick. There we are. Okay, come over here to polygon mode. Select those two, Alt-C. And I want symmetry and two in the count. And I'm going to bring it out oh, about just like that. Select those two, Alt-C same and select those alt c and we will add some poly uh, a loop slice here as well now notice i've changed back in this video to where my inactive meshes are wireframe that's because i need to do some selecting underneath here and that would be difficult to do if all of the polygons were visible okay so with those four edges selected R key and we'll scale those in I'm gonna hit the R key again and make sure my action center is set to uh, selection and I'm gonna scale these up and outwards hit my W key and I'm just gonna bring these up a little bit there we are select that one that one that one and that one R key and I'm going to bring these in a little bit polygon mode select that front face there select that back face uh, R key and I just want to bring these out just to make them a little bit more puffy there we are okay now if I hit the uh, the D key twice to subdivide it got some respectable looking pillows and they are at least uh, uh, this one's a little bit big so I will shrink it in just a little bit and I do want it to be a little bit taller so okay I'm happy with that polygon mode double click control C and V and we will move these over control C V and move those over control C and V and that's just a copy and paste command okay I'm going to come to a front view. My uh, my pillows are uh, a little bit large, so I'm going to come over here to an automatic action center, hit my R key, put my cursor right down there in the corner, and then I'll scale it in from this direction. There we are. Come back to perspective. Double click that, Control C, V, E key to bring up a rotate tool. Let's rotate that 90 degrees. And we will use this one to put over here. Let's come to a right side view. And click there, and this needs to be a little bit shorter. There we are. And control 
CV and we'll just drag that one over here. Okay. Now these pillows here, let me just select those, hit the close bracket. I probably want to bring them forward and I think I'm going to hit my O key and change to um, polygon visibility here. Okay, let's come to a... Oh, we'll come to a right side view. And I think for this I'm going to come back to wireframe. Okay, um, I want these to be at an angle, so what I will do is, you know what I'm going to do? Here we go. We'll do, we'll come over here to fall off, create a linear fall off, and, oops, create a linear fall off, wait a minute, yes, I want, oops, I want all of those selected, and linear fall off, drag it right up there, and I'll use my W key and I'll just move the backs of them, the back of these pillows backwards a little bit. There we are. Let's come to a front view. Hit my uh, escape button to get rid of that fall off that I've got. And we will create another linear fall off. W key and we'll move that one to the side escape key to cancel that fall off and we'll add one more linear fall off here W key and let's move those back perspective mode escape to get rid of that fall off setting and let's see what it looks like with polygons displayed Look at that. That looks just like that looks just like a let me turn off my wireframe. That looks just like a real sofa. Even though the polygons are colliding inwards with each other, uh, it still looks respectable. Okay. Let's re enable the wireframe and come over here to the deform tag soft drag and with these I am just going to deform them ever so slightly so they're not all rubber stamped and so they don't all look the same adds a little bit more realism to it Now, you will eventually want to probably do some moving around some of some points here. And notice, because of the area of influence based on the size of this tool, it's going to drag some of the polygons from the mesh next to it. And if that's the case, just select those, hit your H key to hide them. Now you can move, use your soft drag tool do whatever you want. Hit U to unhide and the the polygons in the object next to it are unaffected. Okay, I'm not gonna go and spend the time to do all the, all the rest of them. You certainly get the idea. But it probably would be a good time to create some pillows. So, new item. And once again, we will create a cube. I'll start off with a polygon from a cube. And let's 
drag it out about to there that's fine and I'm just going to pause the video here I'm just going to chop this up like I did with the other one using the edge slice tool and I'll be right back okay let's shrink this down a little bit now one of the keys to making all of this look good is kind of a random movement and distribution of these so I'm gonna pull this one forward move it over and I'm gonna even add a little bit of a twist to it and let's add a little bit more of a twist to this one that direction that and that direction maybe we'll even move it over a little bit more stretch it out as long as its dimensions are altered in just a little bit uh, just a little bit uh, you probably won't notice that one is a little bit wider than another And we'll move this one over and move it up a little bit too. Okay. I think you get the idea. You notice uh, it looks a little bit more used, realistic. Okay, as far as, these, as far as these little pillows are concerned, you can create some that are uh, rectangular like this. or you can also use that same rectangular shape and make some that are square and I'm gonna pause the video here and I'm just gonna spend a few minutes and arrange these throughout the uh, the top of the sofa and I'll be right back alright that took all of about five minutes Let's come here to, um, let's turn off our wireframe mode and let's see what we've got. We've got a respectable looking sofa and it probably only took maybe 20 minutes of, of actual modeling. Now, again, you will want to add some deformation to these little pillows just to make them look uh, unique and to differentiate one from the other and I didn't do that yet but uh, certainly get an idea on how to do it and the benefit of doing so and there are some areas on here that have extra extra polygons that you don't really need for example the back of it here has a lot of extra sections that we can probably get rid of wants to retain that one okay well fine I'll get rid of that edge loop that get rid of that edge can I loop that yes get rid of that get rid of that edge loop these loop those get rid of a lot of these extra polygons where uh, it really doesn't matter oops it really doesn't matter if we have them there or not and definitely remove a lot of these and probably several more but you get the idea you can uh, start trimming down a lot of the extra polygons on here and that is it for this sofa modeling tutorial here in Moto and that's it for this whole tutorial so thanks for watching here at Geek at Play Studios my name is Gary Miller have a good day